Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to discuss, well this video is going to be a detailed guide on how to use Binance and the Mandala Exchange as a U.S. citizen. How to use Binance, Binance.com and the Mandala Exchange as a U.S. citizen. So we're going to be discussing how to, a detailed guide, not just a quick discussion or a quick overview like I did on the last video, but this is going to be a detailed guide on how to set these two exchanges up as a US citizen and not have any issues when trading cryptocurrency. So we're gonna be first discussing, um, well, we're gonna go through the whole setup process, but it's gonna be Binance.com, as you can see right here on the screen, Binance.com as a US citizen, and Mandela Exchange as a US citizen. The new Mandela Exchange powered by Binance Cloud enables our users to experience better trading depth, security, and transaction speed. So we're gonna be setting up these two exchanges today, detail guide, we're gonna use a VPN, and um yeah so this is what we're going to start right here first step number one nordvpn and your browser choice i don't know what browser you're using currently but if you're using brave browser or if you're using chrome browser don't use those two browsers use something different this is just a way to keep it nice and simple because what you really need to do you can use brave or you can use chrome you can use the normal browser that you would normally use but you will need to clear the cookies you need to clear the cache and you need to clear all of the stored history because they can tell that you've been on that exchange you know with that browser by your cookies and cache and all of that stuff so to keep this method simple what we're going to just simply do is use a different browser now if you're using Windows this will work out fine if you're using Mac you can follow along but the procedure will be different I'm not going to go over the procedure for Mac but the procedure should be similar and the first thing you need to do is find out if you have the newest version of Chrome Edge nobody really uses Chrome Edge the newest version of Chrome Edge and it's pretty good it's not too bad it's basically Chrome um, not Chrome Edge. Did I say Chrome Ed Edge? I meant to say Microsoft Edge. Nobody really uses the Microsoft Edge browser that comes built into Windows 10. But it's a decent browser and you can use it for your exchanges, the Mandala and Binance Exchange. So let's do that first. Let's get that set up and um, we'll go from there. Alright, so this is my desktop. I have an ultra wide, which is why it's so super duper wide on the screen right now. Um, so the first thing you need to do is find it. You need to find the browser. It's on your computer. You go to your start menu and you will search Edge, E-D-G-E, -E, and you will find Microsoft Edge. It should look just like that. If it doesn't look like that and you have the old style Microsoft E looking logo, then you need to upgrade your browser to the newest version of Microsoft Edge. So we're gonna open that up and I've already got it opened up on my desktop. You don't need to know how to open up Microsoft Edge. It's just a matter of clicking on it okay, let's get that out of there and I've already got it opened up here so the first thing you're gonna do is go to the link that's down below in the description and sign up for NordVPN you have to have a VPN I don't know what other VPNs work I do know 100% that NordVPN works the link is down below in the description if you use the link down below in the description you can get a good deal on the uh, two-year pricing plan the one-year pricing plan and this is the page you should end up on then you want to just click grab the deal And next you'll just select your plan, either the two-year plan, the one-year plan, or the one-month plan. The cool thing about NordVPN is that you can also pay with the cryptocurrency. You can see the option listed right there. See? Cryptocurrencies. You can pay with cryptocurrencies. Alright, so after you've put your payment information in, you should come to this page here. Your payment was successful. Um, and then you're going to go to the Let's Get Started page right there. So let's get started with NordVPN. Thanks for choosing NordVPN. Um, download, login, connect, simple. All right, so we want to accept that. And we want to download. No, we're not going to download that because that's not what we want. Let's log in first. Well, let's go to NordVPN.com because we don't want to install the app. The download will be installing the app. We want to install the Chrome browser extension. So we're going to log in. Log in with Nord account. You're going to use the email address that you use to sign up. Activate your account. Enter the activation code sent to my email address. Check your spam folder if you can't find our email. All right, so I'm going to log into my email, get the activation code, and log in. I'm not going to show you that part, but I'm going to do that. Alright, so I have my activation code. I'm going to paste that in and boom. Once you've pasted your however you want to do it, you can put it in letter or number by number if you want, but just copy and paste it, control V, 
and um, we're gonna create ourselves a password. All right, so we're gonna create our password. Just make sure it's something that you're gonna remember. I don't need to tell you that, but make sure it's a password that you will remember. I know everybody got a lot of passwords memorized in their head, but just you know, make it memorable. And that is that. Now we are all logged in and set up. So now once you logged in, you are going to go to the download apps. And we are going to choose. No, we don't want that. No. Overview. Where is it? NordVPN. NordVPN. Let's go there. There we go. Alright, so here it's down here. Downloads NordVPN. Click that. And we are going to choose add to Chrome. Add Chrome extension. Alright, am I on um no I'm not on the one that I need to be on. So let me go into the Chrome Edge browser. Hold on. All right, so we're back and we are logged into NordVPN. So we're gonna go to the downloads right here. Click that drop down, and we are going to go to um, NordVPN. And we're gonna choose the one we want. We want to add to Chrome, so we're gonna choose browser extension add to Chrome because essentially the newest version of Microsoft Edge is essentially um, Chrome. So we're gonna add um, yeah Google Chrome extension. Click that. You can now add extensions from the Microsoft Web Store to Microsoft Edge. Click on Add to Chrome. All right, we're going to close that up. All right, we're going to add to Chrome. Add extension. Uh, you can't see the little pop up there. Nord browser extension. Let me do that over so you guys can see what I did. All right, so here, add to Google Chrome extension. We're going to add that. Add to Chrome. Add extension. Now you see the little pop up there. Nor VPN, number one VPN Chrome extension. Get a VPN has been added to Microsoft Edge. Use this extension by selecting this icon, manage your extensions by clicking settings and more extensions. All right, so we'll close that up. And that is our um, Nor VPN browser extension. So we're going to click it. We're going to log in with Nord account. And you should see this little pop up window here. Why did everything else go away? Anyway, um, all right, so we're going to log in. That's my account right there. I'm going to black that out so you can't see it. Logged in successfully. And now. Connect to secure your browser traffic. Quick connect. Search for a specific country. All right, so that's what we want to do. We want to click here, search for a specific country. And we're going to search for either Spain or Germany. We'll go with Spain today. So we're going to log in under Spain. Connected to Spain. Your browser traffic is now secured. All right, so that's it. And as you can see right here in the top, let me um, go full screen on that. All right, so let's drag that down so you can see. All right, let's close this thing out. That's that's getting in the way. So as you can see right here on the top, where our browser extension is, you can see ES, and it says NordVPN browser extension badge value ES. Okay, you can't see that because of the way OBS Studio. You can't see that because of the way OBS Studio is set up. It's just not showing a little pop up, but it's there. And the ES represents Spain, I guess, for Espanol or whatever, or maybe that's whatever. We're connected to Spain, so we are now going to go to. All right, so the next step in this process is email account. We need a new email account. You can't use an email account that you've already used on Binance or Mandala Exchange. I'm sure you um, can create a new email account, but let's go through the process. I'm going to show you where you can set up an email account. I'm not going to go. You, I'm not going to walk you through the process of setting up the email account because that's pretty self-explanatory. Email is easy. It's, but this is the um, website we're going to use. We're going to use protonmail.com. Don't use don't use Gmail. Gmail spies on you, and um, just don't use Gmail. Proton mail. I mean, you can use Gmail if you want. If you've got extra Gmail accounts lying around already, you can use that. But I prefer Proton mail. So we're going to go to protonmail.com. And we are going to sign up. 
and choose the free account, free version, select free plan, and then you just fill out the information here, create your account. All right, and once you've got that set up, you can go ahead on over to Binance, and that's where we're gonna go right now. We're gonna go to Binance.com. Binance.com. And we are going to accept the cookies. Oh, you can't see that yet. Let me fix this. All right. So we're going to accept that. And we are going to register. Put your email address in, the one that you just created. Create yourself a password. And this is where you're going to enter, enter the referral ID. Now, if you use the link down below in the description, you'll get a discount on some of the um, fees, the trading fees for Binance.com. Um, or you can enter the referral fee. I'm going to put the, ref not the referral fee, but if you can enter the referral ID. I'm going to put the referral ID on the screen right here. So enter that referral ID or simply click the link down below in the description and you will automatically be able to save some fees on trading and, you know, help me out as well. I'll get a little bit of kickback from that. You'll help support the channel and help support my efforts for showing you how to use Binance and Mandala as a U.S. citizen. So I appreciate that. But um, enter the referral ID. If you don't have one, if you you can not do it if you want. It's up to you. But uh, just create an account. Do the slider thingy. Fit the puzzle piece into the puzzle piece. And so please enter the six digit verification code that was sent to this code is valid for 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my email. Back to ProtonL. Login. And that's that. You should get the little success thing that pops down and you should keep going. All right. So welcome to Binance. Deposit funds, deposit cash, deposit your local currency such as GBP, Euro, etc. And get started with trading um, crypto peer. Deposit crypto. Now this is what you don't want to do. As a U.S. resident, you don't want to deposit cash. You can't do that. If you decide that you want to deposit cash, this will trigger a red flag. It will trigger a flag on your account, and they will ask for verification, identification, KYC, know your customer. So you don't want to do that. You can deposit crypto, and you can trade crypto. If you want to trade, um, I mean, if, if there's something you want to buy from Binance, just go to an exchange in the U.S. like Coinbase or Crypto.com, and you'll buy your USDT, or you buy some TUSD, or you buy some Bitcoin or Litecoin or whatever cryptocurrency you want to buy, and then you would send it over to Binance. So let's go to the dashboard, or simply just buy crypto with a credit card. You don't want to do that. Don't want to buy crypto with a credit card, and you don't want to deposit in cash. This is the only thing that you want to do, deposit crypto. So let's go to the dashboard first. Um, security verification. The security level of your account is low. Please enable one more security feature. Remind me later. I don't think that's necessary, but we'll find out. So let's go to wallet and we'll go to the um, overview. And it should tell us what our withdrawal limits are. And we'll go to the fiat and spot wallet. Perfect. All right. So let's say we wanted to withdraw some... Um, BTC. We'll click the withdraw button and it should tell us our Delhi withdrawal limit. Okay, number one, select your coin, select the digital asset you wish to withdraw or transfer out. Once selected, please also read the direction, please also read the additional notes below. Paste or enter the withdrawal address. Confirm withdrawal network. Confirm withdrawal amount and fee. All right, we're done with that. So let's see where it shows. All right, here, right here on the top. 24 with our withdrawal limit. 24 hour withdrawal limit of two BTC. That's about sixty thousand dollars right now. That's about sixty thousand dollars worth of value. All right, so that's thirty two thousand dollars right now for BTC. So you can withdraw about sixty four thousand dollars worth of cryptocurrencies each day. 
every 24 hour period, which is plenty for most people. The recipient's BTC address, so that will be your wallet address if you have an external wallet like an Exodus wallet, and I highly recommend that you use an external wallet. Once you finish trading on um, Binance, you just withdraw it to that wallet or whatever, and then you hit submit. Now, let's say we wanted to deposit. We'll click the deposit tab. If you want to deposit some crypto into Binance.com, you'll simply copy the address for the, whichever wallet you want to use. If you want to deposit some Tether, you would simply copy that address right there, copy to clipboard, and then you would paste that address into your other account and transfer it over. You'd, you'd copy that address into your Coinbase account. You'd copy it over to your Crypto.com account. And then you send your cryptocurrency over into Binance and it will end up in your, your spot wallet, your fiat and spot wallet. So you go to wallet, fiat and spot, see it says deposit and withdrawal, and that's where you'd be, right here. And then you'd simply choose the cryptocurrency that you want to deposit or withdraw, and you can search from right here. And um, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. So now let's go to the um, to trading markets. We'll do a quick overview on trading markets, even though I don't have anything in this account, but you know. That's where you go for trading. Spot markets, that's where you'd want to be unless you're doing futures markets and zones. or fit. And you can set your favorites or whatever. How to set your favorites, you just simply click the star. So we'll just pretend that that's a favorite. And then you'll see that listed over there as a favorite. So. And let's see what BNC versus BTC is doing. I like the advanced trade. You can go with classic, but we're going to go with advanced for this one. And welcome to Binance Spot. How to spot trade. You can watch that video. It is two minutes long. Um. Not right now. You can do that on your own time. It's if you don't know how to trade, you probably shouldn't be doing this, or you probably need to, you know, learn a little bit more before you go into this stuff. You should probably watch the video. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, that's that's the chart right there. You can set the chart up however you want. It's got some settings for moving averages and so on and so forth. You got a seven, a twenty-five, and a ninety-nine. And you can change those how you see fit. Uh, you can buy BNB and then you click that tab right there to sell BNB. So if you have some BNB in your account, Binance Coin, you could click that tab if you want to sell the Binance Coin. And you click that tab if you want to buy the Binance Coin. And you can deposit it right there and you can withdraw it right there, which is pretty convenient. Sweet. Takes you right to the withdrawal page. All right. And uh, yeah. Well, one thing I did forget to add when setting up the VPN, before you go to Binance.com um, and sign up, before you go to Binance.com and sign up, you want to verify that your VPN is actually working. So we'll do that real quick. I'm going to go to what is my IP address. We'll do that in the search bar right here. Oh, right there. I'm going to search that. And then just verify that your VPN is actually working. Oh, come on, get all of this crap out of the way. Data protection notice in order to blah, 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 accept and close. All right, so you can see right there, that is my IP address and it is in Spanish, Publico Espanol. So I'm pretty sure that means we're in Spain. It says Madrid, M-D-E-S, I'm pretty sure that's Spain. It's not where I'm actually at in the United States, so. And everything is in Spanish here, so yeah. We're good to go. All right, so now that's done. All right, so that's a quick overview on how, well, it's not a quick overview. It is pretty much a detailed overview, not really an overview. It's a, it's a detailed tutorial on how to set up Binance.com. So now we're going to go on to the next exchange, which will be Mandela.com. And the setup procedure is pretty much the same. You can use the same email that you created to sign up for Binance.com. It doesn't matter. You just make sure that you've never used that email on Mandela.com. Oh, it's not Mandela.com, it's Mandela.exchange. So just make sure you've never used the email that you used on Binance on to Mandela Exchange. New email, new exchange, new email. Okay, it works like that. One email here, one email there, and... <laughs> All right, so let's, let's go to the next one, Mandela.exchange. All right, so we are going to accept that. 
All right, new fees as low as 0.05%. Some low fees. Um, trade cryptocurrency with confidence. New Mandala Exchange powered by Binance Cloud enables our users to exchange, um, enables our users to experience better trading depth, security, and transaction speed. Trade now. So let's go ahead and register. All right, we're going to use our email that we use for Binance, and we are going to create our password. What you will find is that the sign up procedure for this exchange is almost identical to Binance. And I believe the withdrawal amount is almost identical to, Bi to Binance. So now, now I find out, I have found out that when you use this exchange, if for some reason they do find out that you are from the US, they will allow you to withdraw your cryptocurrency. And the same thing goes for Binance.com is if they find out that you're in the US, they will allow you to withdraw your cryptocurrency. They won't steal your cryptocurrency, but you will have to start over. Um, that's never happened, but you know, I mean, that's never happened to me using these two exchanges, but just in case you log in by mistake without the uh, VPN turned on, then you know you can get your cryptocurrency exchanges. I mean, you can get your cryptocurrencies off these exchanges without any worry. So I just wouldn't leave anything on it for a long period of time. Only do your trades and then get your cryptocurrencies off the exchange. So that's just a good practice in general. All right, so let's go to uh, logging in, um, creating our account. We're creating our account with Mandela Exchange. So we are going to go to um, referral ID same thing applies as you know as I mentioned with Binance so just make sure you use the referral ID that's down below in the description and you can use well just use the link down below in the description that's the easiest way to do it or you can use this referral link right here on the screen right now not referral link but the referral ID you can use the referral ID that's on the screen right now best way easiest way is just use the link down below in the description I read and agreed to the terms of use so now we are going to register. Same thing with Binance, you slide the puzzle piece over. All right, so the next thing you will do is check your email and enter the verification code. And we're in there. Now, as you can see, this is very similar to what Binance looks like. See, very similar. Binance.com, Mandela.com. It's probably just a copycat exchange, but, well, it is a copycat exchange because you can see it looks very similar. All right, so we're going to go to our wallet. Balances, deposit, withdrawal, deposit and withdrawal history, distribution history. So let's go to balances. And as you can see right here, 24 hour cryptocurrency withdrawal limit remaining to BTC. So over the course of a 24 hour period, you can withdraw two BTCs worth of cryptocurrency, which is about $64,000 as of today. And today is January 24th, 2021. So there is that. Um, depositing, same thing. Let's go to the deposit. wallet deposit this exchange is actually a little simpler than Binance it doesn't have as many features um, or you can go to the side here let's see is that dash is that on the side all the time no I suppose it's not on the side but anyway uh, deposit copy the address copy to your clipboard same thing take that address and put it over into coinbase or crypto.com or whatever um, place you're using or Kraken or um, what's the other one anyway whatever cryptocurrency place whatever website you're using or app you're using to buy your cryptocurrencies you would just simply copy and paste this address over there and um, that's that Gemini so if you're using Gemini crypto.com Kraken any one of those that allows US residents that's where you want to buy your cryptocurrencies from okay and the same thing applies, copy the address, paste it over there, and then you transfer it over to the Mandela Exchange, and then you, you know, do some trades. So withdrawal, let's see what it looks like to withdraw. Same thing, you would enter the address. Paste that address if you wanted to withdraw. We're not going to withdraw to our to the same exchange because that just wouldn't be like recycling. 
and it might even um, cause some issues. But that's just, you know, as an example, you paste the address to the recipient. If you want to withdraw to your external wallet, let's pretend that that's your external wallet address. You'd withdraw to that address there and then you would choose the amount and then you would hit submit. Do not withdraw directly to a do not withdraw directly to a crowdfund or ICO address as your account will not be credited with tokens from such sales. All right, so let's go and see what the um, exchange looks like. We're going to go to the markets. And they got quite a pretty good selection there. They probably have the same amount of tokens as Binance because this is pretty much a copycat. Let's see if they have Theta here. I think they do. Yep, they have Theta. Let's see if they have AV. AVV. Yep, they got AV. So, you know, let's see what the exchange looks like. Oh, uh, this is the old um, Binance setup. It's pretty easy to use. They have trading view charts, charts by trading view. Oh, let's scroll down. Buy ETH, sell ETH, price, limit order, market order, stop limit. If you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with how to trade on a cryptocurrency exchange. If not, then you need to watch another video because this is not the video for how to trade on a cryptocurrency exchange. This is just how to use Mandela and or Binance exchange as a U.S. citizen. This is just how to use this video is just how to use two exchanges that are very popular that have a lot of cryptocurrencies that don't allow U.S. residents. But you're a U.S. resident and this video is showing you how to use it. So. Let's see if there is any settings on the VPN for automatic starts because we want to have the VPN set so that every time we open this browser, the um, the Microsoft Edge browser, we want to have this VPN already logged in. So let's see if there's any settings for that. Let's go to the desktop. All right, so now you can see what I'm doing. All right, um, right here. Click on that. Click on settings. WebRTC is a communication protocol that relies on JavaScript, which may leak your real IP address. So we definitely want to have that on. Avoid ads and block. Avoid ads and protect yourself from malware, phishing, and other threats. We will leave that off because that might, um, sometimes those things mess up the way the websites function. So we'll leave that off and we're not going to be searching. We're not going to be surfing the web. You know, we're just using this for um, Binance and Mandela. We're not going to be uh, browsing the web significantly with this. So, bypass list. Manage list of websites that bypass the proxy. That's pretty handy. So, if you wanted to use this um, browser as your main browser, you can set up your bypass list so that it doesn't affect how you normally would surf the web. Privacy and data. Okay, settings. That's it for the settings. What I am going to do though is close this up real quick and open it back up, but I'm going to close these windows. And I'm also going to show you how to set up, just give me a second, I'm going to show you how to set up this browser as an as an app so that every time you open this up, it will take you directly to Binance. So you can click the button at the bottom, it'll be like you have a Binance app. You click the button at the bottom, it'll be like you have a Mandela app and it'll automatically open up this browser with the extension on as um as Spain as you're you know as if you're in Spain with the Nord brow with the Nord VPN extension activated so just bear with me I'm gonna show you what to do so let's close this up I'm gonna open it up just to make sure I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do let's zoom in down here and we're gonna open it up right here All right, so we are already in. Let's just make sure. Yes, we are. We are already in. It already logged us in. So just wait for it to do that thingy, and then um, we should be good to go. Connect it to Spain. All right, so you don't have to disconnect and reconnect. It automatically does that for you. All right, so let's go to... Um, all right, let me show you what we have to do to get... 
our browser set up as an app so what we're going to do is go here the menu option button and apps oh we don't want to install that site as an app so we're going to go to um, binance.com go here go to apps manage apps oh install this site as an app so that's what we're going to do we're going to go there right here apps install this site as an app you should get that little pop up right there and you can just simply name it binance change the name to just binance not bitcoin and install and it's going to pop up and open up for you now how do i verify from here okay see look click the drop down nord browser and badge has access and we're gonna click it and it says we are connected so we are good to go just verify that connected to spain all right so it works as i expected it to and um that's it so look all right it's down here all right, let me zoom out okay right here right click it pin to taskbar now we're gonna close it and every time we open it boom we don't have to do anything finance and we are connected connected to spain that's it real simple right and you do the same thing for mandela let's do that i'm gonna close it and you can see it's still pinned to the taskbar right there and we are going to go to Mandela dot exchange do the same procedure apps install this site as an app just simply change it to Mandela or you can leave the long name there if you want choice is yours so we want to install that you should get the pop-up we got a pop-up window right here make sure we're connected connected to Spain and we are going to pin it pin to taskbar close it verify that it works boom we're done so now whenever we need to use those two exchanges we simply click it click it and it's all done for us now so we went over NordVPN and browser choice. We went over email account setup, ProtonMail. I don't know why there's a dash there. We went over browser setup, setting up the browser. We didn't go in a direct, we didn't go in exactly the order that's listed here, but um, we did cover all of these topics. Created a desktop shortcut, pinned to taskbar, auto start VPN, that's automatic, Binance and Mandela sign up. So we covered all of the topics in this video detailed video on how to set up a Binance account and Mandela account and use it as a US resident so all right we're done with this video so we're done with this video and um, if you have any questions feel free to leave your questions down below in the comment section and um, you know I'll get to them as soon as I can but for now uh, I think that's a uh, peace so thanks for watching and peace